Don't be the person who breaks up an orgy. <laughs> What were the things that I wish somebody told me before I walked into my first party? You should wear to a sex party whatever you feel sexy and comfortable in. A good little tip is I think about it in three layers. So your, your arrival attire, so whatever you want to arrive in and something sexy underneath. So at some point you want to take those clothes off and wander around and the space gets sexy. What I like having also um, is some sort of cover up like a shawl or, or, um, or like a sexy um, robe that I wear. Um, after, you know, after later on in the night when I don't want to walk around naked. One of the ways to prepare is, is doing your, do your, your bidding. B is for boundaries, um, I is for intention, and D is for desires. If you're watching a scene, and watching a group of people having sex, or watching just, you know, one person, even just one person masturbating, you are participating in that sexual um, energy. Sex is risky business. Um, there's no such, such a thing as safe sex, there is safer sex, because we know things like HS, HSV um, can transmit from genitals to mouth, right? So if you're going down on somebody, coming up for air, and kissing somebody else is not a great idea. Um, so that's one of the things that you need to think about in a group sex, group sex environment. People having real life sex, real life orgasms right next to you is actually kind of rare. Um, and that's what you get to see at a sex party. Um, so you really need to be prepared. Sex parties are great. They are safer than any mainstream nightlife location I've ever been to. People think that they're gonna come to a sex party and it's gonna be carnage and people are gonna be groped and you're gonna have to like, you're gonna have to have sex. Um, none of the above is true. Even if you don't wanna have sex, even, even if public or social sex isn't your thing, just experiencing that space is, is an interesting one and I think everybody should go.